Hi, I'm David Gonzalez, and today I'll show you how to work with keyframes in Mystica VR 887. With Mystica VR, you can use keyframes on any parameter, and you will see that the state of the parameters is color coded to make it simpler to the user. Let me explain that color code. Down here at the output camera, you can see how all the parameters are uh, gray, and gray means that the parameters are at the default state. The white box means that this is the active parameter right now. As soon as I change the parameter, it will turn into white. White means that the user has modified the parameter and it doesn't have any keyframes. Uh, I can now add a keyframe by right click add, key, add keyframe and you can see how the parameter turns green and I also get this little triangle up here. Uh, green means that the parameter has keyframes and I'm actually parked at a keyframe. If I move away to a different frame, you can see how it turns light blue, which means that the parameter has one or several keyframes, but I'm not parked at any of them. If I want to add a second keyframe, I can just modify the parameter and Mystica VR will add the keyframe automatically. There's no need to go back into right click and add a keyframe. And you can even do it by using the on-screen manipulators. So as soon as I drag it, I get a keyframe added. Then on this uh, right click menu we've seen a few different options um, and I'm going to explain them to you. So the default value we, is actually a reset of the whole parameter. It will remove any keyframes and set the parameter back to its default state. Add keyframe we've already seen. We will add a keyframe to the current parameter in the current time. Remove keyframe with remove the actual keyframe and you can move in between keyframes with these uh, little arrows in here. So I can just go and remove that keyframe. It will keep all the others and interpolate between them. The last one which is really useful is remove animation. Remove animation will remove all the keyframes on this particular parameter, but it will keep the information on this frame for the whole length of the shot. So I can go in here and remove the animation. And now it turns white, which means that it's a user entered value, and it's the same value for the whole length of the shot. A very common use for keyframes is to realign the horizon once it's been stabilized. So let's stabilize the shot. Uh, first, I'm gonna align the horizon so that once I stabilize, I start with a nice frame. I'm gonna take a reference point because I'm gonna need that later to match all my keyframes. Now that is a horizon line straight, I'm happy with that. And I can go into stabilize and let Mystica VR analyze the shot. As soon as it finishes analyzing it, it will apply the stabilize. Uh, Mystica VR with its stabilize will remove all the shaky movement, but sometimes it can drift in time. So the horizon may be slowly uh, drifting away from the center. That's when we're going to use keyframes to keep it where we want it. Now that it's finished, um, I can see how it's more stable, but it drifts away as we move forwards. So I'm going to add a few keyframes. First one at the beginning, which is the frame that I marked as, as my reference. Then I can move away. Remember, that is my reference. I want to be on the line of the staircase and up there. So I want to bring that always up to the same point. Checked. Check that the horizon is steady. And just by adding a few keyframes, I can keep it steady. So that would be the way to keep the horizon steady through time. Just adding a few keyframes, add as many as you need uh, for uh, keeping the horizon where you want it. Another great use of keyframes is to animate the edge points. So I'm gonna go and load a scene that is a bit more complex. And the first thing I'm going to do is to play through the section that I've just selected so that it gets cached on the RAM and runs much faster. Now I can activate my overlays again and zoom in into the section that we wanna fix. If I activate optical flow, you can see that when she moves into the 
scene she creates a bit of an artifact in the background so we're gonna protect that area go to the beginning select the camera I want to add the edge point in at the edge point and adjust this size and here I'm gonna create keyframes both for size and position of the edge point now I can move to her final position and drag the edge point and adjust its size so that she's perfectly protected on that area check that it works and then go out till the end when she comes back and bring the edge point back again so I'm gonna add a keyframe there just by wiggling and also add another keyframe on the size as well and bring it back I'm not only going to bring it back but also reduce its size to zero which will effectively make it fade out by reducing its size to zero I'm sort of deactivating that edge point completely and now we can review from the beginning and see if we need to do any adjustments maybe we want to start moving it a bit earlier once you've created the keyframes if you want to move them you can hold control and click and drag the keyframe around which is very handy for fine tuning Keyframes have many different applications, so I'll recommend you go to the SDO website, download the new version and try it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.